Hello YouTube, this is Asnan from Trending Codes and today we're gonna look at how to create the horizontal scroll in your Ionic 3. So uh, first of all, uh, we have the option or we have the tag which is called as Ion Scroll and if we we'll set the attribute uh, that is scroll x to true, we can do that. But uh, setting that true won't work we should add some additional uh, CSS or styles to that and then we can uh, make that working so to implement that into your Ionic 3 app uh, we have to code it first and let's get started so first of all uh, we're going to create um, uh, I guess we're we going to create first the ion scroll and inside the ion scroll uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna create the uh, scroll X attribute to true so uh, scroll um, X equals to true now um, once you'll do this uh, uh, it's not going to work because we need to add some additional style sets to this one and to do that just add the style uh, equals to um, let's say for an example first we'll make uh, the uh, white space to not wrap so it will be continue uh, in a single in a single row so if you'll if you'll forget to do this uh, it will be wrap your content into the next line and you won't be able to make the horizontal scroll so um, white space to no wrap mm, yeah over here now uh, I'm gonna uh, set the height for my ion scroll so uh, uh, I guess height will be mm, 300 pixels or something 200 pixels it depends on your uh, requirement and then um, I guess now now let's go ahead and add some content inside the ion scroll first of all I'm going to uh, add the image and uh, I'm going to set the uh, image from a set slash messy dot png let's go ahead and save and let's check that we're getting the image or not okay so here we got the image but uh, let's increase the height and just set to 300 I'm sorry 300 pixels and I hope it's gonna work for uh, I, I need to make my image to be fully uh, visible on the screen so I can just uh, make it look better okay here we go now uh, let's go ahead and just copy and paste the same image and let's see that our horizontal scroll is working or not so I have uh, added four more images now the image are same uh, here I just want to demonstrate how to create a horizontal scroll so I'm just copy and pasting the same content to make you people show that we can create the horizontal scroll right over here so you can see there we have created the horizontal scroll in a easiest way I was looking around the internet how to create or how to make that possible to scroll horizontally and I was getting the big big code but uh, I worked on it and I got the one single uh, element or the one single style which is white space should not be wrapped if you set this white space no wrap your horizontal scroll is gonna work easily now if you want you can add more styles to this I'm not going to add more styles to this I'm just going to demonstrate and I'll just show you how to create the horizontal scroll but if, if you want you can add more styles and as you guys remember in my last tutorial I have created the football card and in that uh, you can implement this what you have to do over here is um, I have I have actually I have implemented that and I'll just show you what you have to do in that and uh, it's a kind of challenge for you 
just understand how the horizontal scroll work and made these things possible if you have designed my uh, previous card which I have shown you in my previous video so I'll just show you what exactly I have done in that and what exactly I'm telling you to do into your uh, card if you have designed or if you have followed my previous video so I'll just show you uh, I'll just go to the uh, I'll just go and change the home page okay so this is what I'm telling you to implement into your app if you have designed my previous video or if you have seen my previous video in my previous video I have just shown you how to design this particular card and uh, I have just implemented a single card but with the help of horizontal scroll what I have done over here is if you want you can display all the players of a particular team and with the help of this beautiful horizontal scroll we can display all these player available in a one particular team with their jersey number and their name i have just copy and pasted the same code to demonstrate over here but what you can do over here is you can create one array and inside the array you can just uh, store the image path and the name of the uh, player and the jersey number of the player and with the help of ng4 you can just do that in a simplest way okay so uh, it's a kind of task for you people i hope you'll implement this and you'll make a beautiful car and you'll make a beautiful design for uh for for your uh, batman you know if you'll keep practicing all this stuff you'll you'll be you'll be uh, putting the hands on the CSS and you'll be better with the designing st stuff and all those things so when you when you'll work on the real project you'll be feeling so easy to design all those stuff so who knows in future you may be an app developer and you'll be working for a company and you'll get uh, and you you'll get a from uh, order from your client to design a football app then at the time you will be you'll be having those knowledge how to create the horizontal scroll bars and all those stuff so you can just implement that and put your hands onto the CSS and styling stuff so it will be more uh, more and more helpful to you so it's a kind of challenge for you I hope you'll implement and let me know uh, by just mailing me your app or uh, mailing me your uh, good designs so that I can also implement your designs and we can communicate and we can uh, we can just make it more um, nice survey or make it more beautiful so uh, one more thing is if you have designed something else if you have uh, if you have made some beautiful apps you can just contact me uh, via my email or Facebook or Instagram and let me know what you have created the beautiful things and uh, if possible we'll work together on that so that I can also learn new things from you people and I can gain more knowledge from you people too so uh, for this video uh, that's it and I'll be catching you people in my next video where I'll be implementing the ng progress bar um, so uh, for now uh, I'm signing off Bye bye. I hope you guys like this video and if you really like this video don't forget to click on the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, you will be getting more knowledge. I'll be sharing more knowledge in the future and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I just upload a new video. So for now, bye. Take care.